Hello everybody, this is Andrea and welcome to Move Workout number two. In this workout you're gonna find an alternation between cardiovascular portion and strength portion combined in a way that you will keep burning a lot of calories within 30 minutes but still working the whole body in terms of strength. And the workout is uh, designed in a way that whenever you're working some muscles you're gonna recover the other one. So you will be ready to start again to the next block. So what you will need is just a mat or a towel and a bottle of water to keep yourself hydrated and just a little bit of space at your home. So now let's set up our space and let's start our workout. Hello everyone and welcome to your new move workout. You're gonna start with a step touch, relax your shoulder. Now in this workout you're gonna work your full body, working cardio and strength. Squat now. On the spot, you point your hands on your thighs, easy peasy. You can also put a smile on your face. Two more. Now you're gonna twist the back. Step twist, step twist. It's gonna improve the mobility. And next time you can also stretch the arm far away. For four, three, two, lift it to the ceiling. Yes. So that's how we're gonna warm up the upper body. Ready for the next part. Four more. Three. Two, we're gonna move into the legs with a step curl. Hit the boom boom with your heels. Lift your chest up. Yeah, couple more. And then we're gonna do double. Two, one, change. Two, one, change. Yeah, just gonna bring up a little bit your heart rate up. We're gonna move into a double knee up. Two, one. Check your tire with your arms. That sets us nice strong. Two more. One and twist again the waist. You know what? You're gonna add your arms again. Like this. Stretch, stretch. Ready to push the ceiling again? Yeah. Keep on using your legs, bending a little bit more. Range is everything that you want to warm up. We're gonna go back into a double curve. Two, one, change. Two, one, and change. Everybody wanna park and dance today. <laughs> Four, three, go back into a single curl. Yeah. Don't limitate yourself, give me a very big range. Oh, oh, and now lift the knee. Hey! Active and energetic as the music that you're listening. Four, three, two, move into a double. Change. Change again. You're gonna lift the knee at least as high as your hip. All right, stop. Now we're gonna move, keep on moving a little bit because you're gonna move into your cardio portion. So roll the shoulder and we're gonna go back into a step touch. Yes, open and close, open and close. Keep on relaxing your shoulder, open your chest, and here we are. That's how we're gonna pick it up the rhythm, shake it, shake it, stop, and run on the spot. One, 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 one. Exactly. If you cannot run today, you can always march, it's up to you. Now inside you can lift a little bit higher your heels and let yourself be driven by the emotion. What's the next combo? It's two burpee, four jack. Stay into the run. Listen. Here we go. Two burpees and four jacks. So one, do it again. If you need the option, you can do a 
what falls and come to the side. So what you choose you go. From each party. And for jacks. Or for squats. And sit ups. Come on we're gonna keep on moving for 15 seconds. Whenever you need to slow down, just drop the rhythm of the music and move at your own pace. You can also do only one burpee. Okay, so now we step touch again. Relax, catch back your breath. And you can also sink deeper. Show me the power throughout your posture. And if you want, you can also add your arms. Sit up, sit up. <laughs> It's such a nice step to step touch, right? Let's keep enjoying this movement. And now we run again. Be your emotion. <laughs> yeah, keep on saying to the running or march if you need. Yeah, she's right. Let's join this trip with me. And we're fitness first. Okay, look, we're gonna do again our combo. Be prepared, it's coming, guys, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, here we go, two turkeys and four jacks. Option, take it whenever you need, don't worry. You can always do only one burp inside, one, two, three, and four, and then four jacks. Or your famous four squat four shows with the side tap. Fifteen seconds. Come on, come on, guys! Almost close to the end. Run on the spot. We finish as we start, guys. Be prepared because now instead we're gonna move into your strength portion. We're gonna work your legs and the upper body. Oh, watch. One squat, one back lunge. One squat and one back lunge. This is the combination. You got it? Now let's work with the pulses. Two pulse squat and two pulse lunges. Two squat again. And two lunges again. I wanna feel the burn. Watch. It's gonna be four, three, two, and then four lunges. Four. We wanna follow the beat of the music. Ha. And then four back. Do you feel the burn in the legs? Don't stop now. Sink lower. Show me the power in the slides. Two more. Heels on the ground, sit back. And now we're gonna crawl on the floor. Turn your body, crawl down. Stop, walk back, and two twists for your back. Do it again. One, two, three, four, stay into the plank. Four, three, two, one, twist. Continue. Now try to focus on the alignment of your back when you go on the plank. Then walk back into a squat and then relax the back. Whenever you need, you can take a break. Or go on your knees. But now step there. You're gonna have one push up. Down. Up and then two spiders. With the spider, you wanna touch with your knee, your own elbow. One to the right, one to the left. Down, up, one, and one. Whenever you need, you can go on your knees. But don't forget to keep your glutes down into the plant. Okay, stand up. Shake your upper body, yeah, that was good, right? Shake it, shake it, because we're gonna go back into your leg. Combination gonna be one squat, 
front lunge with two pulses back two pulse and then back very good this is actually challenging your balance and strengthening your leg of course try to keep on strong and still posture lifting your chest squeezing your shoulder blades back you remember now you're gonna do everything four four three two and step back do you like this rubber rhythm? rhythm? Steps engaging. So, yeah, let's go into a card again. This time it's mixed martial arts. We're gonna bounce on the spot. We're gonna go with your right leg slightly forward, splitting your stance. Hooks. Is your right arm striking strong? Imagine that you have a target on the side of your body and release the leg to make it comfortable. You move like a boxer, light like a feather. Strike, strike. Watch the combo. It's gonna be two hooks, two knee strikes. Here we go. Two, one, knee and knee. Two, one, knee and knee. Why is the music drop the intensity? Give me more. Three to go. Two more. Last one. And now we're gonna stay into your knee strike for 30 seconds. This is gonna let us focus on one move and instead working harder on the intensity. Strike, strike, strike. 15 seconds before we change. I'm here once again. Yeah! Four, three, two, change the side. I'm here once again. Be well to build up. Try to keep your balance, although it's difficult, on the body alignment. Every rep was right is an achievement today. 15 seconds. Yes! Go! Go! Three more. Two more. And we're gonna go back into your hooks. Left side. Left side. a bit more of energy right. focus on one point and strike it it's stronger I'm tight because we're gonna go into our combo ready let's do this me me stay light on the ball of your feet I will give it for 15 seconds more. Three more reps. Two. One. One big strike. Yes. All right, let's go into a plank position. You're gonna walk to the side and one push up. So, plank walk to the side, down and up. Cross, open, down and up as you can see every time you're gonna cross with the arm on the front and if you want you can also add one leg up when you push this is gonna create more tension whenever you need option you really know where to go right yeah your knee is the right option whatever level you decided only push up push up with the leg or push up on the knees let's keep on moving together keep the alignment at the back last one stop and watch tap to the side and change side this is gonna work your isometry on the upper body and help our stabilizers to work stronger I'm 
score because next time we're gonna do the track. So up on both feet and close both feet together. If it's too much for you, just sing the previous step. I know it's hard to try to control the upper body, try to control the curl. And now last. I believe that you deserve a little bit of stretch, right? <laughs> Huh. Take a rest. Everything is fine. That's good on your shoulder. Let's do this again. We're gonna walk the plank again. Walk, walk, and one push up. Remember to cross the arm one on top of each other. Cross, cross, down, and up. Now, if you need, you can go on your knees. Or instead, lift your leg up. Every time remember to alternate the legs to don't work always the same side. And if you need to take a small rest, just go for it. Two seconds to go. And now it's time to challenge your abdominal muscle and the back and all our center of the body. Adding the side up. Maintain the neck very long and look at the floor. Avoid to look at your own knees. And then you can also check. So open and close with both feet, keeping the knees nice and soft. Come on, you're almost there. Don't leave me now. Alright. Now we're gonna stand up again because we're gonna go to Brazil. <laughs> we're gonna stand and assume an isometric squat position. So you're gonna stay there, focus. Try to sink low and put the glutes at least at the same level of your knees. Push the knees out, toes out. Legs are training. You're gonna go fast at the rhythm of the music. Open, open, close, close. Open, open, close, close. Try slide the samba rhythm. Three seconds to go. Come on, play with the music. And if you want, you can also go faster or slower if you need. Three seconds to go. Alright, give me a little up. Increase the range, increase the speed. This is just the first round of our interval training. Four, three, two, all right, sit back into a isometric squat. Now this time you're gonna switch into one leg squat. How? Just stopping with the heel front and then chain the side. Try to keep the glutes down and just do a basic teeny tiny move to extend the leg. The weight is always on the leg that squat. And the hip up is very light. Run, run, run. We're gonna go into the second block of cardio. Ladder training again. This time is gonna be only 30 seconds. Wide and narrow, wide and narrow. A few seconds to go. I love this rhythm. What about you? Four, three, two, all right, sink again your glutes down, and you're gonna go again into a front top. This is gonna challenge the leg that stays into the squat, and also our balance. We're maintaining the abs tight, the glutes on the back of the room, and the chest is lifted. Yeah, I can feel it. Try to go lower. Come on, you're almost there. Challenge yourself. Four more. Three. Two. And now, ladder again. Here we go. Um. 
This time he's not still trying to pick it up. I want to be tired of your knees. Alright, pick it up, pick it up. Fast, fast. Use your arms. Come on, let's enjoy the rebound and spit it. Four, three, two, one, yes. All right, let's go down for a kneeling position. For the elbows, stretch one leg on the back because you're gonna do a lift up and down. The focus now is to isolate the grip and move slow. The cap on the third is very light. Eight more. I'm a true believer. I know something's taking. Four more. Three more. Two. One. Alright. Going to a plank position. Or on the knees for the tricep to shuffle. Down and up. Down and up. Your aim is to keep your elbows very close to the waistline. Like if you wanna rub your t-shirt. Control is everything. If you wanna really feel the squeeze within the tricep and the connection with the core. Four, three, let's go up, mountain climber. Right, left, right, left. Keep the glutes down as much as you can. For four, three, we're gonna go down again on the elbows, lift the other leg. Now if you can, try to rotate the, your, the heel inside and the toe outside. It's gonna squeeze more your glute. Eight. Last four. Don't release your abs. Push them over to the spine. Okay, we set to a closer position. Knees are toes, elbows in, and you go down and up. You're so dangerous. Come on, focus on the rhythm and on the range of movement. Four more. Three, two, and then we're gonna go back into the climber. The rhythm is quite slow because you still want to focus on your abs. Now what happens, we're gonna turn quickly into a crunch. Take your time if you need. Elbows wide. Tuck the chin to the chest, and when you're ready, you can also lift your leg into a tabletop. Option is to leave your legs down. Four, three, alright. Very good. It's time now for us to stretch. So we're gonna turn to me and extend the leg forward. Set up your body, you can also roll the shoulder and now we start to move your neck. Drawing eye like a necklace with your chin all around. Now shoulder roll. Open and lift your chest, become a little bit taller. Alright, stretch forward on one leg. The other leg open slightly to the side. We're gonna stay a little bit there because it's very important to keep the position in order to feel the stretch. If you want, you can also go deeper after one big breath. Now we're gonna switch on the other side. 
Grab the foot. If you cannot go on the foot, grab your ankle. Now one deep breath. Ah, and sink deeper. Now we're gonna close the legs together and twist the spine. Try to go very far away with the back arm. Lift the chest. And now with the arm that you have on your legs, you're gonna go to the ceiling in a big extension. Let's switch the side. First the back twist. Twist, twist, twist. And now we're gonna reach the ceiling. Okay, next move we're gonna move into a four-point kneeling position. Just wait two seconds more. And now we're gonna turn four points with the cat and the cow. So you arch your back inside and outside. You might want to sync the movement with the breath without breathing. Yes. This is gonna mobilize our spine and make it soft and flexible. Now runner stretch. One leg forward, the back leg. Stretch and strengthen your knee. Heels on the ground. When you can, you can also go deeper. Open the chest and try to keep the back leg straight. Okay, now triangle pose. Try to keep the front knees strong and straight. And if you can, you can also drive the waist more closer to the knee. Okay, put your feet together. Do a forward fold. And relax. Try to drive the weight into the heels. Maintain the knees as straight as you can. Okay, we're gonna step up with the other leg this time. For a run and stretch again. Relax the hip. And enjoy the moment. You can also sink lower. Okay, triangle. Heels on the ground. I know it's a bit painful, but it's very good. You will say thank you later. Just to go deeper. Now, forward fold again. Straight to the middle. Fold the leg. Then you're gonna stretch again. Roll up your spine. One big shoulder roll. And thank you so much.